Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali Hai. And today we're going to be doing a Taiwan army ad because we know um, not only we've heard it's amazing, but we know Taiwan has bought 66 F 16s from the US. Yeah. Um, in preparation. So China has always claimed it as part of China. It's a territory in China. And I know Taiwan does not believe that. It works as its own country. It has its own politics, you yeah. know, and it wants nothing to do with China. Shocker, I know. <laughs> but we also know that um, just today, I think, they paired up with the U.S., to declare 5G security against Huawei. So they are blocking major Chinese tech companies like Huawei to make sure that there is security in the 5G network. They're not gonna go with these companies. They want companies yeah. that they're gonna trust and have security in. And we know India is making one, so. And we know everybody is trying to tighten their borders and the Quad has met and we know there's more um, in the future for them all four to meet yeah. and work together in the South China Sea. So um, everybody's preparing, um, which I think is good. I, I mean, I we don't like war. We don't want no. anybody to be killed. Um, but you definitely need to keep it tight because we know how China operates, right? Yep. All right, let's start it up. <laughs> They really look like they're preparing for all-out war. Yeah. Which is good, because we know what China is up to someti sometimes. Um, at least we know that India has, you know, Australia, Japan on its side, and it, the U.S. is now working with Taiwan, which is awesome. And, um, you know, we, we're hoping that they sign the Tibet bill and... Yeah. You know, Hong Kong, we know, is not happy as well. Like, there's a lot of people not happy with China. So I don't think it would be too smart of them to start it up. But no. I'm glad everybody's getting prepared. Even though Taiwan is small, Japan's small, and Japan's beaten China before. So mm -hmm. size doesn't really matter. It's the good weaponry that you have yeah. and how many people you've got to back you up. Exactly. And Taiwan right now seems to have the quad behind it. Yeah. Um, and China, not so much. Who's going to come to China's rescue? Oh, Pakistan. Uh -huh. <laughs> Imran Khan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, because he owes them so much money. I, I honestly, we do not want war. No. This is not a funny matter. We just like to know that everybody's getting ready. India has their soldiers at the border on both sides, but especially on the Chinese side. Yeah. Um, you know, they've gotten the fighter jets. Um, now Taiwan has F more F-16s. Um, we know, you know, the U.S. Navy is in the South China Sea patrolling mm -hmm. to keep China on its toes. Um, we know Japan has gotten more fighter jets as well. This is like, you know, they're surrounding. Now, China thinks he, they have India surrounded, but I think China is 
more surrounded. And the problem with them starting it is that they're going to have breakup within the country. Mm -hmm. If they fire one shot in any direction, they, Tibet is going to break free. Inner Uyghur Mon- Muslims. Uyghur Muslims. Inner Mongolia. Mongolia. Taiwan. Hong Kong. Um, wherever else they're trying to put their hands on. So I think the CCP is trying to pretend like they're pulling strong, like they're being strong, but they're really trying to hold off because if they start this, it's China's going down. Yeah. I mean, India could probably take them on by themselves, but now India has the U.S., Australia, Japan. Japan backing. And Taiwan, the same thing. Like, Taiwan may be small, but like Japan, they're getting Size ready. does not matter. Mm-hmm. This is the time. Take sides. Take the good side. Mm-hmm. And, and hopefully part of this will become, you know, like they said, Taiwan and U.S. are saying no to China's Huawei with 5G. But we know India is making its own. So these are the things that will hopefully good will come out of it for India yeah. um, is that companies will start to flow into there. We already heard Samsung is making their new phones in there. So it's going to bring jobs. It's going to bring great opportunities. And we've seen so many people sing the national anthem, raise the Indian flag in the Times Square, you know, put the Indian colors on their buildings or on the waterfalls of Canada. Yeah. People respect India. Why? Because it's one of the largest democracies in the world. It's given wonderful things back to the world. It's done so much and yet doesn't brag. And and it is like the next up and coming country. Yeah. And it could be amazing. So we hope uh, Modi keeps those doors open for companies to come in and keep giving them incentives. We hope Trump does like Japan and starts paying these companies to pull out and either come back home or, or go to India. Um, this is what we need right now. We need the world to wake up and see what China has done what the CCP has done between the coronavirus and all the lies and the security breaches we've heard Trump say in the past, this is the time. This is the time to take advantage of it. And hopefully, hopefully, no war will come of it. We don't want to see any more deaths, you know, 20 at the border and who knows how many from the other side because nobody says. Um, Was more than enough Indian soldiers that we lost, so. Right? Yep. So... We'll keep you posted, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.